Yes, the World Health Organization, they classified aspartame, one of the main ingredients in diet soda, as a carcinogenic, class two carcinogen. The World Health Organization occasionally makes mistakes. Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. Can you drink soda and still be healthy? No way. Wait, really? Way. Let's find out how. Everybody knows soda's bad for your health. Grandma knows it. Great grandma knows it. Shit. Great great grandma, when she was on the Oregon Trail, she knew soda was bad. But it's only bad if you do like four things. Here are the four things. Here's how to make soda bad for you. One is you drink regular soda, not diet soda. Diet soda is generally quite neutral to your health. Regular soda has a crap load of sugar in it, and it's maybe not ideal in most circumstances. But even that's not bad by itself. You have to do point number two as well if you want to make soda bad for you. And you have to drink enough of it to turn you hypercaloric. That's not some kind of weird chemical state where your blood boils or something. It just means you're getting in more calories than you're burning. So if you drink in 10 regular Cokes a day and that's a crap load of extra sugar and extra calories and you still eat your normal diet, you'll start eating way more calories or drinking in this case than you're burning and you'll start to add body fat over the long term. That will degrade your health for sure. If you're already at an unhealthy body fat percentage and unhealthy weight and you drink enough soda to prevent weight loss, then you're not making yourself less healthy, but you are keeping yourself less healthy. So bad move. Point number three is you drink soda while also eating very poorly. When we look at people who drink soda, most of them are less healthy than people that don't. But when we look at the data a little bit more closely, we realize a lot of those people, it's not maybe the soda by itself that's doing all the health maladies. It's the fact that they also eat like total crap. I haven't seen a whole lot of people have, you know, a sandwich and a Coca-Cola and it's a regular healthy sandwich and then that's it. I have seen a lot of people do a Diet Coke or just water, a sandwich and two apples. That's a healthy lunch. But when I see someone have a Coca-Cola or a Sprite regular with their lunch, oftentimes their lunch is like a few Twinkies or two burritos or three double cheeseburgers. And then you're like, I see. The soda is just a part of your world where you eat like junk all the time. That's really the big problem. And lastly, if your dentist hates you because soda is doing not good things to your teeth, then it's bad for you. And that's no way to go. I, I think de- dentists hate us all. I actually have to go get some shit done in my teeth later today. I'm not dreading it because I enjoy the calm, but I think I'm also a serial killer or something. People say they hate the dentist. I think it's great that they clean our teeth, but they always have bad news. They're like, hey, listen, and they judge you morally every single time. They're like, how's your flossing? And you're like, oh God, Uh, it's it's good as any other flossing get, uh, right, mister? Don't don't call me mister. You're strapped to a chair. You're like, oh my God, I can't move. A typical dentist office visit. So, How can you drink soda and still be healthy? Can those be done together? Well, yes, in four specific ways. First, just drink all or mostly diet soda. Drinking diet soda has essentially zero impacts on your health. It's more or less an inert, neutral substance. And yes, the World Health Organization, one of their uh, cancer branches recently published a thing where they classified aspartame, one of the main ingredients in diet soda, as a carcinogenic, class two carcinogen. The thing is, uh, going out into the sun is a class one carcinogen, drinking hot beverages is class two. And they made this recommendation totally in the absence of dose. Yes, if you have 1,000 theoretical cans of Diet Coke per day, you could get some cancer. But at 20 or less, you're an order of magnitude away from the amount of Coke that could potentially cause any kind of problems. So within even up to 20 Diet Cokes a day for the rest of your life, your probability of developing cancer is as close to zero as statistics can detect. So no, diet soda is not actually bad for you. And yes, the World Health Organization occasionally makes mistakes. They're pretty good normally, but we all get it wrong every now and again. I've got a ton of other videos about this, so feel free to give them a Google. Anything about my last name or Renaissance periodization and diet soda, tons of information. Second, if you drink regular soda, just drink it in moderation. You don't have to have 50 cans of it. That way you don't gain weight from it or you don't maintain an unhealthy weight. If your weight is already unhealthy and very high, I probably wouldn't fill those calories with regular soda. But if you're a a normal active person of a healthy weight, 
and like you're taking a flight somewhere and you order a regular Coke and you drink it on the flight, nobody's dying. No, it's not going to screw up your gut microbiome or some crazy make-believe bullshit. You're going to be totally fine. So in moderation, it's totally cool to have soda if you're active, if you mostly eat healthy and you're of a healthy weight. And that's really point number three previewed. If you're eating well and you're active and you don't take a ton of junk food with your soda, diet soda in any amount or even a can or a bottle here of regular soda is just not a big deal. Soda's no less unhealthy for you or no more unhealthy rather than ice cream or popsicles or something like that. But you have some ice cream every now and again because you know like, hey, every now and again you have ice cream. As long as not all of your meals are ice cream, is not, you're, uh, as long as you're not a fat buffalo looking person, then it's totally cool. Ice cream in moderation is fine and so is even regular soda in moderation. If you don't like moderation, diet soda you can drink, well, gee, up to 20 cans a day, no problem. And lastly, talk with your dentist because they may give you a sensible average cutoff for how much soda you can drink in a day. Because you can say, look, 20 cans, and he looks at your teeth and he's like, nah, that ain't it. And you're like, okay, what about six? He's like, yeah, like five or six cans a day on most days. I think you're totally good to go. Because dentists do understand that they're supposed to care for your teeth. But they also understand, because they're also human, I think, that you are a human being and you live life. They're not going to say like zero coffee, zero soda, zero sugar, zero everything. They could say that, but they know you're not going to listen. And also, fuck that. That's a shitty life to live. What they can tell you is say, look, you know, five cans of soda a day, you're totally good. I think that'll be just fine. If it's worth a trade-off to you, it's totally fine. Anything north of that, it could, you know, specifically with the teeth genetics that you have, sir, it could go south for you quite quickly. So if they tell you that, your dentist understands there's a context in which you could drink soda, then you're totally good to go. It won't destroy your health. You'll be happy. And most importantly of all, you're going to support the profits of the Pepsi and Coca-Cola corporations, which are American institutions. God bless America. See you guys next time.